morning. Today we have Mr. Pradeep Bhandupadhyay from Virgin Pains. Uh, he is the HR manager. So, so I would like to ask you a few questions. Sir. So you have sir, 17 and a half years of experience in the industry, sir. So what were your major learnings, sir, from these? Uh, in fact, uh, my experiences range from working in the manufacturing industry to uh, the publication house. So in that way, and also uh, from working in a, in a software level to a corporate office. So, the, uh, so in that way, I've learned a lot over the passage of time. And the uh, learnings has been quite a lot in, in the sense that uh, certain uh, skills relating to negotiation, certain communication skills, certain interpersonal skills, the presentation skills, and all those things. So many learnings. It has been a rich experience for me. And I'm, in fact, I've been fortunate enough to work in a variety of industries, and that has added value to me. Definitely, that is what I can say. Perfect, sir. So, so with Virgil Pates, sir, in your present company, so what all accomplishments and learnings have you had, sir, specifically to Virgil Pates? Mm, Virgil Pates? Challenges. Sir. Challenges, yeah, we had challenges. Uh, there were challenges relating to talent acquisition, the talent retention, and also the talent. Uh, management. So we have streamlined our process as regards to the acquisition of uh, human beings, I mean to say the recruitment process. We have uh, gone for certain uh, evaluation techniques, certain evaluation methods through which we have been taking human, uh, human resources, both at the laterals and also for the campus recruitment. We have diversified our uh, campus base. We are now going to more than 100 colleges for taking the campus intakes. And uh, for the learning and development also, we have identified the broad areas where we need any intervention is required. And that too, depending upon the business verticals, the different verticals, and accordingly, we have uh, tailor made our programs. And right now, we are also into the assessment of how this is, this will be affecting our bottom line. So that is also very important. Right. Okay. So, so, employee retention, sir, as you told in our lecture. So, so how can we? Uh, One uh, which I was mentioning is about these shops, the employee stock options, which we, at the end is a tool for employee retention. Uh, besides, we have the schemes wherein, uh, or the process, HR process wherein uh, a good uh, employee who is a good performer, if he is into an officer grade, he can be promoted to the managerial grade. Uh, we have that fast tracking system. Those the campus recruits, the management guys, whom we have taken, and with a couple of years, we have seen that. Uh, they are a very good performers. So we have an accelerated growth rate, growth path for them. So, which we have done, in fact, we have done and we have been successful also. So, that is one of the ways. Besides, we have always been trying to review and restructure our compensation structure so that we have the, we, have, we can attract the best talent as regards to the compensation is concerned. So, it's, these are some of the ways in which we are trying to do. All right. So, okay, so, so according to you, sir, what do you think is one major leadership quality that a manager should possess uh, to manage attribute? Uh, I think the first thing is that you should uh, be, you should be uh, in a position to listen to others, which is uh, listening skills is very important. And uh, more than that, after you listen, then only you can give, give your views. Don't jump into conclusions, because that sometimes creates problems. So the listening skills, how you are able to um, listen to um, others, and a manager is basically the leader. So you have to be empathetic to your uh, the people, the people uh, who uh, are there with you. So it's something you, uh, you have to show certain respect to the people also. Because once, once you show respect, then only the respect will come to you. So these are certain learnings which you need. Because unless you love and respect people, unless you listen to what they are telling, uh, you, will, you will not be regarded as a true leader in the sense. Okay, so in the end, sir, just to sum it up, how was your experience, sir, here in IMR? Absolutely fantastic. In fact, uh, uh, it's a very good institute. In fact, I've been interacting with the, uh, the persons who are there, and uh, the curriculum, and also the infrastructure. And we have been. I think we have come to your institute as a part of campus recruitment. And uh, going by the standards of your students, we in in the near future also we are hopeful that we'll be coming year after year. Okay. So, lastly, sir, some advice for the students. Sir. Uh, advice, uh, 
first of all, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a time to learn and uh, to gain experience and it is a true learning only. And uh, what is important is that, uh, which I think your institute is doing to a considerable extent is that so along with your theoretical learning, you need to have certain practical approaches also. And that may be through case studies, through life projects, through summer interns, through factory visits, through guest uh, uh, lectures, whatever be the case. So they should also have an understanding of how the corporate industry is working. And obviously they have the, you have your rich talent of the teachers who are there who are giving the theoretical inputs. So a blend of these two will always be the best, I think. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.